What's going on, y'all? This your boy Slick Fifty back with another episode of Popping Vinyl, man. How y'all doing, man? If y'all was with me just a minute ago on my other channel, I was on Wavy Wednesdays. That's why I got a shirt on now. I had to get the hair up off me. What is going down, man? Is that music too loud, man? Let me know. It's I don't even know if y'all hear that. I got to cut down, but I don't be one. I don't be sound empty. Let's see. Right on, right on, y'all. Thank y'all for that help, man. Now I can remember the settings I got it on, so I know next time, you know, you did. It just be sounding empty, man, just me talking. I don't know, it just felt weird, you know what I'm saying? But we got some pops to go ahead and get into, you feel me? Not run this back so long. Right on, Mike, I appreciate that, man. Let's go on and get into this. Oh, 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 hush up, dude, hush up. My bad, I thought I cut. <laughs> I thought I stopped on my phone. It's a stop on my phone. Oh, I thought I stopped my phone. Yeah, we're going to knock this one out, man. appreciate everybody coming out and watching. Help me get these watch hours on here. We're going to build this one up over here. The second channel going to get big. You hear me? Shout out to Jay Beeps. What's good, man? What's happening? Let's go on ahead and open this first box. This one is actually from Funko, bro. Funko Bros. Affiliate. You hear me? Shout out to my boy Davey over there. Funko Bros, man doing big 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 things you hear me we're gonna open him up with the blade can i let, uh, this is off the subject of pops bro. you hear me <laughs> check this out this is a box opener right why do it has to be like a switchblade i can't remember where i got this from but then you still gotta click it to open it like a regular box cutter Hey, that's stupid. It's a waste of time in my book. <laughs> Trying to be bougie. I need to be dropping a video every day. I ain't going to lie. I got so many pops I'm behind on. The other people probably aren't going to review, but I'm still going to review them because y'all ain't seen my video. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. You understand me? See, this is Funko. This box has been sitting here a while. I don't remember what it was. Um... This is Ed Icon. Oh, snap that fat. Well, Fanta the Clown. Goddamn me. And why is my name crooked on the screen? I do not know. Yeah, that needs to be moved. That shouldn't be like that. There we go. Put them back where you belong. There we go. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> that was bothering me. I don't know how that moved like that. That was retarded. Anyway, let's check the box out. Y'all know how I am. I'm a box fiend. All right. Again, it's green. We're going to put him on the spindle. You feel me? His outfit is green. I didn't even know Fanta. I forgot Fanta. Well, I didn't know Fanta had a, you know, Fanta Soda had a mascot. I didn't know that. An ad icon. But I do remember ordering this about a month ago. The box is a one. Add icon number 57. There's the half head there. There's the bottom. Half head at the bottom as well. Booyah. All right. Are we going to take this out the box? Absolutely. If we don't rip it. <laughs> Heat on my feet. What's good, boy? I got to get some drops over here. I ain't got no drops in here yet, y'all. Bear with me. And we're one for one. Did not rip the bottom of the box, people. Um, I think we got the... 
The wheels should be already moving. Let y'all check them out. Paint job phenomenal. I ain't gonna lie, no glue on the on them. Paint job phenomenal. Let's go. Will he stand? And yes, he will. That is your Fanta guy. Let's move in on him a little bit. There we go. Close enough for y'all. Well, we can go a little closer. Pop cam. Pop cam. What's going down, man? Yeah, he cool, ain't he? He bet he got a little bottle of Fanta in his hand. You hear me? Hey, man, I'm digging him. I'm digging. He came out clean. Cleaner than most pops. You hear me? Now, this one is from Pop in a Box. Blade. Y'all gotta watch out for them. They packing got better, but look. Can you hear that? You probably can't. I got the noise canceling on. But watch. I like these boxes, but they should put like padding in them. Somebody step on this box is over. You hear me? Come on, y'all. Y'all got to do better. You saw what it was. Deadpool Venom had to get it. It's not the metallic. I wish it was the metallic. Deadpool Venom popping the box. Y'all got to do better with y'all packaging. Even though this box is immaculate. Better than my um Agent Venom I had got. But this is nice. Even though this is something they've been had a while. They had a metallic. And I was trying, you had one hour to get it. And I wasn't able to get it. But this joint, I'm with it though. I don't know. Should I open this one, y'all, man? Shoot, let me know. I don't know. I think y'all might have saw this one. But I see his hand, though. I ain't trip off his hand, though. It really is half and half um, Venom and Deadpool. That is so dope, bro. But you know anything with Venom? I got to have a lot of people collect Deadpool. I, I got Panda Pool. I thought Panda Pool was cool. <laughs> the flock uh, chase. But other than that, I'm a Venom guy all day. You hear me? Look at that hand in there. That's the set it came from. You know what I'm saying? I don't see why not. Let's let's go ahead and open. Let's go ahead and open it. Why not? Look, JB said, yeah, open it. Let's open it. Let's see if we can get a, a two for two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two for two? No rip. Y'all know if I rip it, I'm going um, <laughs> to <gonna> be mad. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about, oh, we just looking through the box today. <laughs> I'm going to be mad, boy. Let's go. Yeah, he's nice. Take you off, buddy. Hey, you know how these live sessions go. Oh, I wish Marvel was not bobbleheads, man. Why is it that, oh snap, why is it that Marvel and Star Wars got to be bobbleheads, bro? Now, see, this one isn't as clean as the dang old Fanta. He got glue on his head and stuff like that. You see it? He got glue on him, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? The paint job, I guess you can chalk it up because of Venom. So, it kind of adds to aesthetics or if it's not completely painted correctly. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. So I'm going to write it off. Plus, if you know anything about popping a box exclusives, they be kind of rushed. So, they don't be all that. But we're going to put them on there. Let's let them see you up, see y'all up close. Michael said he don't care about that glue. I don't need it sometimes. There's a little bit of scarification at the top right there, dude. But because the Venom pop, you can kind of look at it as it blends in. You feel me? He is dope, bro. He is dope. Peep that hand, though. Peep the hand. The Venom hand. Tell me that that don't go hard, bro. I hate that it, he bobblehead. That's why his head's shaking like that on the spindle thing. I hate that he bobblehead. I ain't gonna snap. He clean, though. Can't tell me not. Man. 
That's one ones I want to just leave out the box. I ain't gonna snipe. He fired. He fired. Let me put this other one back in the uh in his cage, so to call it. But um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with him. Next up, I got a package from a follower of mine that I follow back. I don't like that word follower, you know what I'm saying? But on IG, at Joe, J-O, it's amazing because it was getting rid of um some pops. And um, it was a minute ago I asked for it, you know what I'm saying? A minute ago I asked for it. Um, and they remembered me. Great deal on them too, boy. I had to throw some extra bread. Like, I'm not gonna just let you give me these for this. You feel me? So, right, Michael. I like how you said that Southpaw dirty. You hear me? <laughs> I like that boxing all day, baby. Hey, right on, right on heat. Hey, it is nice. It's nice. Look, woo, woo. That's what I'm talking about. Do a pop battle, man. See, people got. I, I'm trying to expand my horizons y'all when i show y'all my room i got a little bit of horror i got a lot of movie i got a lot of venom i got a lot of he-man i got a lot of batman and ad icons i have no anime that's a fact i don't do anime um even though i be want to jump into it it's just that i don't watch anime but they be looking so cool and i was gonna jump into dragon ball z but that is like a never ending <laughs> a never ending thing i I, I want to, I like jumping to things that's slow, where they drop things slow sometimes. Then I grab stuff that's sporadic too, though. But I end up trading that stuff off. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Like, I just bought my first Star Wars pop. So that's probably going to be the next video. Only because they look artsy. And by me saying that, you probably know which ones I'm talking about. You feel me? But I'm not going to keep collecting Star Wars. I feel like if you collect Star Wars, that's all you need to do is collect Star Wars. I would not have no room for no more pops if I click Star Wars. I'm one of those people, once I start something, I have to have them all. Like Venom, I got to have them all. I'm missing three right now. They got Glow in the Dark on Amazon exclusive. I'm about to pre-order of Doctor Strange. They got Glow in the Dark Group, Pop and T. And I'm missing the Blue Flame Ghost Rider. I need those three, and I'm going to have them. <laughs> I'm going to have them. <laughs> but... Venom pops come out slow. They don't come out like, man. Anime pops just come out all the time, bro. I just can't do it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But I mean, I'm gonna get in one of Davy's pop battles and learn the rules. You know, I got a little bit of something. You know, I got some sports. You know what I'm saying? Plus the way my pops are stacked up, I'll show y'all, man. Um, way my pops are stacked up, it's not easy where I can just grab. I got a wall that's all pops, but they're stacked on top of each other. So maybe if I put an extension on my camera, I could run the camera to the pop. You feel me? Something like that. Oh, I do got two Deadpool pops. I got uh the Deadpool pop where he like got red and uh a black suit on with the red tie. I had to have that. It's called something to die for. I can't remember. But anyway, on to the next one, y'all. I'm rambling. Like I said, this is from the homegirl Joe. I follow on on IG and um she remembered me man out of all that time I put this offer in a while ago and I'm not complaining I'm grateful man that's dope that people can remember you and let people know they watch you and or follow you you know what I'm saying so Joe this is for you because I've been telling her I was going to bend it because I told her I was going to do this this weekend so forgive me forgive me Joe you take this joint up really good. This joint is taped up really good. Y'all hear that? They be some time. Got me thinking about it. You feel me? Got me thinking about it. Here we go. Her presentation is beautiful. Wrapped very nicely. Check it out. All right, all right. Respect. Well, she did extra. We got 
I don't know what's what. I actually don't even remember. I think I remember one, but the other one, I don't remember what it was. But I was just so happy, and the price she threw at me, I was like, come on. And I didn't tell her that because I already knew. I was like, she sent me both of these for that price, bro. I'm throwing some extra dollars. That's who I am, bro. That's why it's important to watch the show, bro. If y'all hear me say something I need and y'all get your hands on it, bro, let me know. Especially Venom stuff. Let me know. He-Man, let me know. All right? Don't be afraid. Reach out. You know what I'm saying? If y'all just not seeing this, thank you. Hit that like button for your boy one time. But if you're new to this channel, P.O.P. Popping Vinyl. What's popping, everybody? Go sub up to SLK50TV. You know, check out GMT, the podcast. You know what I'm saying? You can also reach me on my IG, which is right there under the screen. See That's for my other YouTube channel, and that's also for IG. You got something you want to get rid of? Let me know. I, I could do say yes or no, right? Check it out. Check it out. Also, we got a donation. The first donation that was made to the channel. Right. Salute to Joe, man. I appreciate you, man. She, she awesome, dude. She's very awesome. And the trap. Shout out to the trap. What's going on, man? Um, This one I'm not going to open. And when she said this box was immaculate, because she was on my trip. Shout out to Joe. She was like, man, I want to know if they came right. I want to make sure they came right. Like, she was not trying to do nobody dirty, bro. If she got some business, I'm shouting her business out. I promise you. She was on me like, hey, I just want, I'm not trying to bug you. I just want to make sure you got them and because they, they, they supposed to be immaculate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this box immaculate. This one I'm not going to take out. It's an older pop. Um, Super dope. I've been wanting this one. And y'all know I'm an Ad Icon fan. Booyah. The Christmas Pillsbury Dough. Check him out. Oh, that's glory. The cookies. You know what I'm talking about? Tell me about it. The black right there. It's, it's green on the sticker right here. That's why it's blacking out right there. But I will put him on the, um, the spindle, all right? Check him out. Check him out. You collect, man, You get, if you collect ad icons, you got to have all the Pillsbury Doughboys. You know what I'm saying? Now, with ad icons, if you collect the ad icons, you can most definitely take your time collecting. Because they'll be around. It's just certain ones go up. Like, I have Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms. For my first, my Tony the Tiger, it's not the flock one, but it's almost $300 now. So, like, it's like the staple cereal ones that's going to be high. But everything else is pretty much in reach. You know what I'm saying? Everything's in reach if you want it. If you can spend two fifty on a pair of sneakers, you can spend two fifty on a pop. I mean, that's gonna make more money. That's gonna accrue value. You feel me? So, but this is beautiful. Thank you, JoJo, man. I really, really appreciate it. So he moving fast all of a sudden now, don't it? How about that? We put him on a spindle like that. But yeah, if you're going to collect. Add icons that come out slow. That <coughs> excuse me, that's easy to get into. You know what I'm saying? Marvel pops stuff out now. This is the trick with Marvel. I don't. I collect Marvel when they get older. That's what I do. I will wait. That's more my section of I want to know if they're gonna be worth something. Like for instance, the like anything a Marvel movie, Black Panther. I don't want it right now. Thor. I don't want it right now. Um. Like, even though I'm clicking stuff, I'm like, Thor Ragnarok, because it's going up. Now, the things that I do buy from Marvel that I just buy is the ones that just say Marvel at the top. Not no movie theme, not nothing like that. I just buy those. I, I like them. And right now, I'm into the uh, Marvel 80 years. You know, it's at the top or whatever. Because, like, all their first appearances in the comic books, I'm collecting them right now. 
But anything that's like Avengers and stuff like that. I got a couple of Avengers. I got uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. But like I said, I bought them because it was a crew in value. I got the iron, first Iron Spider that was a Target exclusive from the Avengers. It's going up in value. Spider-Man Far From Home is going up, from, up in value. And I think that's it. But every, <laughs> everything else is Marvel 80 years. And the ones that just say Marvel at the top. I, have, I got some old ones that, still, that say Marvel Corpse on the bo actual box instead of the sticker. Um, I will give y'all a gem if y'all still here. Mike G, what's going on? I will give you a gem. If you get your hands on Thor Secret Wars, which is the female Thor, you do know coming up, the female Thor is going to be in the movie. His girlfriend is going to be the female Thor. Remember that, all right? So that pop is going to skyrocket. I am I got I have it. I've been having it forever. It's really not going for nothing right now. So I'm letting you know if you can get your hands on it, get you one. They already announced it. Female Thor is coming. Her name is just Thor. That's why I say female Thor. I don't know the girlfriend name. That's why they've been hiding her in the movies, but she's coming back. And um Yeah. Play get your hand on one, bro. Once she break that movie, it's over. Gonna make some nice trade bait because I'm gonna get me another one. That's our, well, I already got another one lined up. So just to let you know, Nova too. If you got Nova, they about to be putting Nova in the movie. You know, y'all. If y'all been keeping up, y'all been keeping up with the phases and stuff. You know, with Marvel, you know what they got going on. You feel me? Let's check it out, man. We 23 minutes in. This next one. Let's see. Oh, snap. So now, okay, Gamora. Yes. Dang, I hate I traded my boy, though. I forgot his name, but you know who he is from um, Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Star Lord. I, I traded Star Lord. I should never trade Star Lord. I was at the mall two hours ago and it was dead out there. Time for me to dig. Right. Man. Now I gotta get another Star Lord. I did not remember this is one. And while I'm talking about the ones with the Marvel labels, what comes out? One with the Marvel label. This is what I mean by Marvel labels. See, I say Marvel at the top. Dang, you ain't gonna be able to see him. He green. <laughs> he green, bro. And it's turning red. That's hard, though. That's hard, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it's Drax, y'all. He green. And his green screen is on. Damn. I hate that the green screen on. I need to cut that thing off, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I need to cut that thing off, bro. Check that out, though. I had that Star-Lord, dog. I need to get rid of... Man, I got rid of Star-Lord. I'm going to put him on the thing so you can see what he's looking like. Again, this is another one I do not want to open. I'm sorry, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to get another, nothing else. You got too much ish as is. <laughs> no, <Nah>, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, get your hands on one. I'm telling you, when they drop that movie, that that pop going to go, it's going to go straight up in the air, y'all. It's going to go straight up in the air. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the spindle, man, so y'all can see this, dog. Man, Joe, thank you, dude. I forgot this was one of them. I am not going to lie. I, th I forgot this was one of them. Now I'm going back to Star-Lord, and I need that Rocket Raccoon. I always needed Rocket Raccoon. For something about Rocket Raccoon, I'm not a fan of him like that. I'm just not. I don't I don't know. But for this set, I'll get him. And and, and you already know if y'all got Gamora, she going up. You still can find her on some hot topics and stuff like that. Amazingly, for $15. But yeah, I need that Rocket Raccoon. Anybody got that Star Lord? Holla at me. Anybody got that Rocket Raccoon? Holla at me. All right. But yeah, he green. Y'all know Drax. That's what he look like. Man, this is dope. This is dope. Man, if y'all can share this video, man, we trying to get our subs up. If you ain't sub. Please hit that sub button. Encourage somebody else to sub. They love pops and vinyl. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm be trying to do these lives to help get my time up. But also, I want to keep the lives going, man. I think it's more fun to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
What else? Oh, we gotta get to the record of the day. Like I said, we all about vinyl and vinyl around here, baby. What's popping? Let's let's get to it. I had it out, then I changed it. Vinyl today. I'm gonna let y'all soak that up. That drags, boy. That drags hard, bro. That drags hard. My boy got these glass cases that sit on his walls. Y'all see how my floating shelves is in the back? He imagine him being like a case case, glassed in. He take all his pops out, but he keep his box. He keeps his boxes, and he keep, put them in Tupperware things in his basement. But my thing is this: that his shit don't get dusty though, bro. I would take my pops out if I could do that. I ain't gonna stunt. He got glass. It is. One day he said he's gonna let me do a, a vlog over there. My God, it's beautiful, bro. It's beautiful. Like my walls were filled up with shells, bro. If I would show y'all, I'd be like, dang. But his stuff, smoking. Mike G. Hey, Mike G. I appreciate that, bro. I really do, man. Thank you. I need to get my pop channel back going. Work be whooping on them. I barely had time to do. Right, man. That's why I'm hey, I just got done doing. I hadn't did no Wavy Wednesday videos. I jumped on there. I was like, let me go and do that. I left that and came right over here. You hear me? I haven't done a podcast in three days, bro. I got to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, little stuff be going through your head or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you just got to keep pushing, bro. That's what it is. That's how the devil work. He try to lay a lot on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? To chop, stop you from your primary goal. You know what I'm saying? What not? You feel me? But to all my newcomers that's just watching this, man, y'all check me fly KOF off. He, he in the pops. If y'all not over there, sir, that's him. I know what you're doing. My man doing sneakers in. He doing it all like I'm doing, baby. And he doing it, bitch. Check him out. You hear me? He said, once I move all four and 50, young, I, 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 when I moved, I said, I got to have my own room. This is my room, bro. I'm going to give y'all a quick spindle, man, after I do this uh, review on, um, on this record real quick. Real quick. Record, 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 blah, blah, blah. record, recommendation <laughs> for y'all. I'm going to show y'all a little quick how my shelves look. They're kind of empty because I'm organizing and stuff like that, but I'm going to show y'all. Man, that Drax is dope, man. Check it out. All right, record recommendation of the day is Do or Die. If you're into hip-hop, this is a must-have album. And no, all of my albums are not hip-hop. But this is a classic, Do or Die. They have uh, um, the dopest song on here. Not the dopest, but the one that everybody knows is Ho Pimp. But don't nobody know it by that name. Everybody know about Do You Want to Ride in the Backseat of a Chevy. That right there, that's the classic. But this whole album is a classic, family. So, like I said, this is what we do over here. What's popping, baby? We popping vinyl. Vinyl and vinyl, man. This is dope. That's the record recommendation of the day, man. Heat. I found some more heat today, though. I got Orange Juice Jones boy coming. Him himself, not himself, but the record dude. You know what I'm saying? There you go, McFly, dude. You want to ride? Boy, classic. But, yeah, I found Orange Juice Jones. Oh, my God, man. If y'all know that name. So you know that name. I post if you if you messing with me. Oh, my bad. Why I'm talking about you can get at me on um Slip Fifty TV. I need to add that to the bottom of this too. We have a official popping vinyl. IG, please follow me over there at that IG. It's popping vinyl. Uh, it was popping underscore vinyl. P O P P I N underscore V I N Y L. Go over there and follow that. That's where all my pop. Um, stuff gonna be record stuff gonna be on there too all that but also follow me on my record ig because record stuff will be on there as well and my sneakers and everything else make sure you follow them both if you're trying to get in contact with me though through ig make sure you do it through the slk50 tv because that's the one i review first every morning when i wake up all right jb and wave said where did you get that get the do or die from i actually found it on amazon believe it or not <coughs> on amazon no lie. Could not believe it. Sitting here drinking one day, you know. Um, sitting there drinking one day. 
sipping on my GMT cup, shameless plug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and just got the type of stuff in. I found Scarface albums. I found that on there, and I just went crazy. I spent about a hundred dollars on there. <laughs> Couldn't believe that stuff was on there, just sitting on there, like what? So I'm looking for other things too that I just can't find right at the moment. But I'm on it. I'm on it. I, I, I'm a big vinyl fan. Record player right there in case you don't see it with records. I'm not faking this. I've been doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Johnny J's will tell you. He trying he keep trying to get me to do a record battle, but his stuff is more versatile to me. I need to step my I can't find my R and B stuff that I want. Like Tevin Campbell, SWV. Um It's just a bunch of uh uh people I got written down, like old Johnny Gill, L R G. Um not L R G. What's it L R G? Y'all know what I'm talking about though. Was who is it? Johnny Gill, it was three of them that came to Joe Levert and somebody, um, Donnell Jones. It's an R&B thing that I want to get together. You know what I'm saying? Because he killing it on the R&B. He killing it. Now, I might be able to mess with him with the, the hip hop. You know, I might got him there. I got some, I even got some alternative. I got some, you know, some funk, you know what I'm saying? But he got me on that R&B, boy. He got that. That boy got that one be going. You hear me? <laughs> I got to step my game up. And I just be, it be like, <laughs> I be finding like, I found SWV, right? All the albums. I was like, oh, but then what people don't understand is though, is that the R&B ain't as rare as the hip hop. So when I see a hip hop album, I'm like, oh my God, dang, I got to make a choice. And then I be having to get that hip hop album, bro. Like, you, it's it's a game that you just gotta like I found Orange Juice Jones for a decent price and it's not new but ain't no scratches it don't look like ain't no scratches on the album bro and when I say I got it for a decent a decent price meaning it's used and I got it for a used price people try to take old records because they know they can't find them like that and boost the price up on them for like thirty dollars LSG thank you McFly thank you like I need that out man you be shocked man and and what people don't understand about vinyl is this. I'm, I'm messing around to do a live. The sound that comes from a record, it sound better than any CD, any of it. Now, when it gets old, yeah, you get the little crackling noise, but you will learn to appreciate that crackling noise, though. But when they knew, they don't make that crackling noise. The sound, the, the depth of the bass is just ridiculous. Now, if I want something like I'm watching a movie or something like that, yeah, I don't want it to be in a record format. I want it to be digital because I want it to go through my surround sound. In all reality, who cares about your music going through surround sound? Because sometimes it makes your ass. I, I will crap you not. I was listening to Chino XL. I don't know if y'all know Chino XL, right? I got the CD downstairs, right? 7.1 surround sound. I was hearing everything, but it sounded, I don't know, it sounded distorted to me. You know what I'm saying? But the records, though, like I got a Bluetooth setup. These Samsung Bluetooth towers right here, sub out this world. I got a little cheap record player right here, right? Because I got kids that can reach that. I want an audio technical. I'm talking about I want one that's, I mean, a Techniques. It costs 300 something dollars. I want it so bad. But I'm scared my kids are going to get their hands on it. But this setup is killing. I'm talking about my CD. When I listen to a CD and I listen to a record, oh, my God, the sound quality and the bass depth is 10 times better you ask any deep real dj they'll tell you the bass depth on a on a record oh my god 180 gr uh, grams what's going on solo man if you get any of that going i'm talking about like it's just better bro you know when you get to the 70s they start making little thin records and stuff but even those still sound better bro you know what i'm saying so like i ain't mean turns to no record rant while i listen to records but we gonna get we gonna do that one day. We're gonna talk about that one day, bro. Cause I think people need to know that. I mean, and that's why I appreciate it. Watching my dad. He had CDs, he had he had cassette tapes and all of that, bro. Went digital, you know, all that. But like you said though, ain't nothing but sitting downstairs listening to a record. You know what I'm saying? Puffing on his cigarette when he used to smoke uh have a tampas, you know what I'm saying? And listen to a record. Even when he stopped, have a drink, sit downstairs. And listen to a record, it's like you appreciate it more for one and make you listen to the record. <laughs> you ain't about to be just skipping, you know, You once you learn how to lift that needle, but it make you appreciate the record, the music, you know what I'm saying? Because you actually going to listen to it, trust. You're not going to just be skipping, you know what I'm saying, like that or whatever. 
Most records got four or five songs on each side. You know what I'm saying? And you go, like I said, you gonna appreciate it. It's it's a different level, bro. It's a different level being an audiophile. Once you become an audiophile, I'm telling you, much more appreciation of music. Um, I'll tell you a hip hop album I am looking for. And I know I got people in here from Oakland. I got people in here from everywhere, man. Um, from here to my other channel. I'm looking for Conscious Daughters. It's a uh, the hip hop group, Conscious Daughters, 90s music. Um, trying to think of the Funky Expedition was they, 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 they dopest track. Well, not dopest, but most popular track um, they had. But that album from beginning to end is the truth. Now, that's why I tend to try to collect the stuff that's beginning to end. Now, they were the two coldest females still today. Today. I don't care. Nobody could touch them. Nope. The, the, the industry wasn't ready for them. And what y'all think Nikki is today, all the, bruh, bruh, they not ready. They not ready for these two chicks. But anyway, I need that. So if y'all can keep your eye on for me for that, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that, man. Um, but yeah, man, Amazon, I think I paid $22 for that um, Pope Pimpin. Somebody said they was, I said it was on it. So if it's still, if you got to know the price, I think it was like $22 or something like that. Yeah, it's Micah, uh, Conscious Daughters. Don't get it twisted because it's conscious. They're not conscious rappers. People get that mixed up. I hate that they changed it. We'll talk about that another time too. Y'all gonna keep me talking. But Conscious, Conscious Daughters. They got two albums. You want the one. I want. I think it's Ear to the Streets. I think it's Ear to the Streets. Uh, McFly KOF said, Hey, yo, Slick, what you think about that absolute... Oh, I'm getting that. Anything dealing with Venom. I'm getting that. That absolute carnage. Man, that's what... Um, and the absolute carnage is hard, but that's corrupted carnage too, because they had a corrupt, um, corrupt venom in the comics, and he had a corrupt carnage, and that's actually what that is, and it that's gonna be dope. It's gonna be in the deluxe box as well. I have I don't know if y'all collected the Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, the Joker, the Catwoman, and I think it was uh, Aquaman and Flash. I didn't got I, I can go get Aquaman right now. I know where that's at. I need that Flash deluxe set. Cold work, cold work by Jim Lee. I need that. I'm a Wu cat. I'm down. Yeah, man, Wu Tang. All right, but uh, I'm with you though. But Wu Wu conscious still different than with other conscious rappers. You get what I'm saying though. But they were just on some real life stuff. You know what I mean? Like storytelling rap. You know what I'm saying? You listen to their lyrics. You're like, this is dope, bro. Like it's what what we need today to come back. You feel me? Yeah, I'm on that. Um, McFly, I'm with you on that. I already got it pre-ordered. I got pre-ordered. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to uh, drop some knowledge, too, about my store I mess with coming soon. Hopefully, I have some some um, good news, you know, share with y'all on this next one. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm going up there tomorrow. Maybe this Friday, I'll have some news. All right? But it has been 3.39, man. I really appreciate everybody that's been up in this joint. Real talk. Hey, boy, your boy got to get up off here. I need to take a nap before I go to work. You know what it is, man. I might go live on this channel from work just to talk about Pops, what's coming out later. So, y'all want to check your boy. It'll be in the early hours, man. It'll be in them trap hours. You hear me? Like the trap. You know, I hope they're going up tonight, too. Uh, that's another. Check out the trap, man. They doing big things over there. Uh new up and coming channel i really dig them guys they got that grown man talk over there if you ain't um hip to my channel um slick 50 tv going over there i got the grown man talk podcast gmt you know what i'm saying get you some um yeah like i say funko bros davy ryan you know we all around make fly everybody sub up to everybody forget it just let's do it like that right on man hey tomorrow mike i appreciate it like I said, I'll be up. I'm going to be up out of here, y'all. I got to get me. Oh, I said I was going to show y'all real quick. I'm going to show you what my room is real quick. Don't go on. Look. Let's see if we can make it. It's going to be a second camera. But see, I got like clear shelves like all on my walls like that. If you look up here, going above up there and stuff. 
So I'm my Jordan and sports, right? But then I got my movies. All them pops right here, I got to review those. Just a little slight heat right there, Bill and Ted. Yeah, it's coming. All them is movie. Trying to turn this camera proper. All my movie pops. Some shelves empty, like I said. Clean your house to do what I want. Shelves everywhere come behind me. Y'all finna see me. What's good, everybody? All right. And then you're gonna see my closet above my closet. That's all my He Man stash up there. I'm gonna come back around this way. That way I can show y'all. Minus my belly, y'all. Minus my belly. Don't be talking shit. <laughs> But now, um, as you can see more, that's my light. I got more shells right there. But this is the wall I'm talking about. See? The wall. Then I got stuff down there, bro. Them all my deluxes and boxes and rides. To them deluxes, Superman, Batman. I ain't just talking about my butt, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's my gamer desk. But I'm going to do a real in-depth tour and stuff, man. You know what I mean? Pez. You know what I mean? My cocaine bear. Check him out. But yeah. But yeah, man. Right on, right on. Oh, it's going to look way better. That's not all my pops, bro. I got pops in that closet in the tub where, like say, I'm I'm ordering, put them in order. Once they, once they get in order, oh my God. It's going to be beautiful in here because my rows, I'm going to show you why I'm explaining it. See them, them gaps right there? The gap from the roof is meant to be stacked at least two on top of each other. So this whole wall gonna be covered. It's gonna look like behind me. If you look behind me right here, it's gonna look full like that. That's how it's gonna be. Now, I don't know if I wanna leave my pops on the wall the way I showed y'all. I might put some shelves on that wall too. But I don't know. I might just leave them like that and just keep going to the roof on that other side. You know what I'm saying? Before the side that already has the shelves on them, that's how I'm doing those. You feel me? But, oh, yeah, by the way, too, man, yeah, I got a giveaway, a Lil Wayne giveaway. Actually, might not be a more than Lil Wayne. Y'all know how I do. I say Lil Wayne and be to put three or four pops in that box. Because I got a lot of pops I'm going through and I know. I said I was going to go trade, but I said no, I'll save for giveaways. So, stay tuned for that. And I for sure, one's Lil Wayne and, oh, another gem. Miles Morales stuff is shooting up for some reason. I don't know why, but, um. Miles Morales, I got some Miles Morales stuff. Some other stuff. All right, let me get it. I gotta go take this nap, man. It's been fun on here, y'all. Y'all, it's real fun, man. Uh, talking about pops and my records and all that. But I gotta get some sleep. I gotta at least get two hours. I hope your boy gonna be up always seven in the morning. You hear me? So it is what it is, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all. This your boy, Slick 50, man. And I'm up out of here, man. Like I said, please hit that like button. Please share the video, man. Tell somebody about your boy. We got to grow over this way. You hear me? I'm up out of here. Deuces.